Assalamu alaikum dears with the remaining part of the features of the common stock in our previous lecture we dis uh, we discussed the characteristic or the features of the common stock so uh, we have discussed up to the power of the selling of the stock or this is also called liquidity rights and uh, uh, are the rights of the capital gain so next one is preemptive rights preemptive rights means your basic rights in preemptive rights case if look at a b c is already the common stockholders of a company and now the company board of directors decided to issue more common stock. So now this is the preemptive rights of the ABC common stockholder that company will first offer them those common stock for the purchasing when abc investors common stockholders says you know they not shows their interest in buying further common stock of that company then company will offer it to outsiders so this is called preemptive rights preemptive rights means when f company have the common stockholder and further the company want to issue the common stock so first those common stock will be offered to existing common stockholders and when they buy so their shares will be increased and when if they not show interest in the buying in purchasing are the further common stock so then that common stock will be offered to the public this is called preemptive rights so common stockholders also have the preemptive stock preemptive stocks rights means that if you are the common stockholder and if any time when further common stock are issued by the company so first they will ask from you that if you buy it or not in the first they will offer to the existing common stockholder and after that they will sold out unlimited life unlimited life when once the common stock is issued by the company so no without no maturity until and unless the company are in operations and they not becomes bankrupt so that common stock will be trading in the market and company will declare dividends on it so common stockholders when they buy this common stock so with the unlimited life with the unlimited maturity these are the features of the words features of the common stocks we also have uh, like another features of the common stock which come in my mind is uncertain returns uncertain returns are the there is an uncertainty in the returns of the stock investments is the value is depends on many factors such as company earning taxes industry factors what is the position of the industry are macroeconomics factors so the returns on the stock market that is uncertain but in case of other security their returns is 
uh, fix so their returns is also certain but common stock returns that is <coughs> uncertain similarly volatility of the common stock uh, so is the stock is traded in the market by the traders and investors so different people allocate different value for the same stock so the price of the stock becomes very volatile in the morning you are seeing a price may not be the same price in the evening if you looked out if you have experience of the stock market price so in the stock market price the prices of the stocks of the different stock of the listed company stock they are increasing and decreasing with a very short period of time why different investors different traders they took place so according to their demands the sometimes their demands are increasing and decreasing so the share price are also up in and down that's why the volatility in the price of the common stock is too much that is the also the features of the common stock holder that uh, the common stock prices are too much volatile volatile means there is too much fluctuation ups and downs taken place sometimes prices are uh, increasing sometimes they are decreasing uh, so volatility is also one of the features of the common stock another one features of the common stock is also the chances of losing everything in case of bankruptcy when it becomes a company becomes bankrupt so there is a big chances that for the common stock holders that they lost everything that is because of the stock price may go to the value at zero why look at uh, when company become bankrupts you will buy the st stock of that company no yeah let's suppose you know that this company is near to bankruptcy so automatically the demand of the stock in the stock market from the side of investors going downwards and due to that there may be possibility that the stock price becomes zero why nobody is trying nobody is wanting to buy the stock of that company which is near to bankruptcy yeah they become bankrupt so and if there is nothing left after paying the preferred stock so you cannot get anything is there is no nothing yeah look it if another one uh, that uh, if company become bankrupt company sold out all their assets to satisfy debts holder they satisfied the debts holder then they satisfied the bonds holders after that that satisfied the preferred stock holders and and the id nothing are left so when nothing are left so being at a common stock holders you can't claim that's why there is a chances of losing everything in case of bankruptcy so this is another one example of words another one features of the are characteristic of the common stock common stock uh, just a minute uh, yeah common stock holder is these are the owners so they have ownership rights on the assets of the company they have claim on assets of company 
if company in bankrupts huh? so you get some portion of the assets after paying the company's payables to the preferred stockholders of the company so that's why company the uh, at the time of the bankruptcy the ownership the, the common stockholders have the, the the claim right the on the assets of that company clear tax exemptions look at uh, in some countries common stockholders that are exempted from the tax why once they pay the tax in shape of the net income and after the net income the amount that are left so that is distributed as a dividends among all the investors so then that dividends becomes the personal income of the investors once already tax is paid by corporation on this amount so in some countries then the government is not deducted taxes from the earning of the common stock like it is an indirect characteristic that is depends on the decisions of the governments in some countries the income from the common stock is not taxable so the money you earn from stock trading or investment that is tax exempted this is another one features why tax exempted because already tax is paid by the corporations on this amount and after that this amount that net amount is distributed among all the investors so that's why this is tax exempted so these was the main features or characteristic of the common stock that i have discussed in details hope you will understand if you have any problems so you can put your messages in the whatsapp group inshallah i will try one level best to give you the satisfactory answers clear uh, just wait i will include the remaining parts in this features and then we will move towards the explanation of the preferred stock or next topic so our next topic that is uh, preferred stock so preferred stock is a class of ownership in a corporations that has a higher claim on the assets and earnings than the common stock that's why uh, it gives prefer or preference stock so preference stock means these are the such stocks which is issued by a corporations and in that the uh, the these preferred stocks holders have the high claim over the assets and the earnings than the common stock holders so preferred stock holders have higher claim to dividends or assets distributions than the common stock holders preferred stock holders also have priority over the common stock holders uh, when it comes to the dividends which is generally yield more than common stock and can paid monthly or quarterly these dividends can be fixed the dividends of the preferred stock that are fixed look at if when company issued the preferred stock and the preferred stock holders they have the fixed dividends even though the business are in profit or in loss so they will got their fixed dividends those dividend may be quarterly may be 
monthly may be semi annually or may be annually such dividends can be fixed or set in terms of benchmark interest rate like the libor interest rate and are often quoted as a percentage in the issuing descriptions look at the dividends may be fix in amount or either that should be fix in the rate so so unlike the common shareholders preferred shareholders have the limited rights which usually does not include the voting preferred stocks combines features of the debts in that it's pay fixed dividends so that is company they pay fixed dividends to the preferred stockholder so it shows the debts property and equity in that it has the potential to appreciate in price so this appeals to investors seeking stability and potential future the cash flows look at dear students the preferred stock have both the quality of uh, debts and equity debts quality like fixed dividends are declared to them so uh, that is the debts quality as well as the stock price in the markets that are increasing or decreasing so capital gain chances are also getting if the preferred stockholder sold out in these stock so that's why you know, this is an equity situation the uh, pro property of the equity so <clears throat> both property preferred stock have this is not favor equity stock neither it favors the debt stock that's why sometime it's also called the quasi stock or quasi shares because quasi stock have both the quality of equity as well as of the debts so from the above discussions uh, we point out some major points by the definition of the preferred stock that preferred stock holders have higher claim on distributions like dividends than common stock in a first the dividends of the preferred stock holder should be declared by the company after debts to common stock holder similarly preferred stock holders usually have no mo or limited voting rights in corporations governments either they don't have voting right or they have up to some limit they have the voting rights in the event of the liquidation yeah at the time of the liquidations preferred stock holders claims on the assets is greater than the common stock holders but less than bond holders bond holder have high claim than the preferred stock holder and preferred stock holder have high claim than common stock common stock holders preferred stock have the characteristic of both bonds and common stock means equity and debts which enhance its appeals to certain investors so this was the simple definition and explanation of the preferred stock clear so i hope that uh, you will understand this preferred stock that now what is preferred stock now the questions come in a mind that how the preferred stock that are traded in the market yeah buyers how they can buy it and why again how they can sold out it yeah sometimes mm, preferred stock is also redeemable if company wants to before the maturity 
preferred stock can be redeemed by the company. So preferred stock uh, comes in a wide variety of form and is generally purchased through by online stock brokers by individual investors. If investor wanna buy the preferred stock so they can access to the brokers of that company and book online orders so the brokers will purchase the said amount of the <coughs> preferred stocks. The features of the uh, preferred stock describes this that uh, these are frequently combined in a number of ways. A company can issue preferred shares under almost any set of terms assuming that they don't fall uh, of the law or the rules and regulations. Most preferred issues have no maturity date are very distant ones. Mostly institutions are usually the most common purchasers of the preferred stock. Means an individual can also buy the preferred stock and institutions uh, can also um, buy the preferred stock. But uh, mostly the institutions, uh, the purchasers of the preferred stock that is institutions like uh, mutual funds, organization, different other financial uh, institutions they can buy, they can make investments in the different companies by buying the preferred stock of that company. So this is due to the certain tax advantages that are available to them which are not to an individual investors. Look at if an individual purchase the stock, the preferred stock, so they must pay tax on it. But if the institutions they are purchasing the stock, so institutions um, are not liable to pay the tax on these preferred stock income. Because why these institutions buy those in bulk and preferred issues are a relatively simple way to raise large amount of the capitals. So private or public companies issued the preferred stock for the long period of time if they need the funds. So the funds that is generated from the uh, issuing of the uh, preferred stock, those funds are used by company for their long time periods budgets. So preferred stock issuers tends to group near the upper and lower limits of the credit worthness. Some issue the preferred shares because regulations prohibits them from taking on any more debts. Like if a company that have uh, chance that they have the, an opportunity to generate funds by issuing common stock or to generate funds by issuing bonds as well as they also have this option to generate funds by issuing preferred stock. So some companies they issued the preferred stock while they already used the first two options. So after that, they don't have further rights to issue any more debts because they risk being downgraded. So while preferred stock is a technically equity, it is a similar in many ways to the bonds issue. One type known as a trust preferred stock that can act as a debts from a tax perspectives and a common stock on the balance sheet. So on the other hand several established names like uh, different companies, big big companies like um, 
General Electric Companies, Bank of America and Georgia Power issues the preferred stock to finance their projects. So I hope that now you will understand the concepts of the preferred stocks. Next one topic that is features of the preferred stock. So inshallah we will discuss this in our upcoming lecture. Till then Allah Hafiz.